What if I told you that every time your employees use ChatGPT, there's an 11% chance they're leaking your company's confidential information? What if the AI systems you trust to protect sensitive data are actually worse at keeping secrets than a gossipy office worker? What if I showed you research proving that AI models are getting duped by phishing attacks more easily than your grandmother? According to new studies, 4.7% of workers have already pasted confidential company data directly into ChatGPT, and enterprise adoption of AI sits at a pathetic 10 percent precisely because nobody trusts these systems with real data today i'm breaking down the cold hard truth about ai data security and spoiler alert it's way worse than you think so let's dive into it today Welcome to Startup Hack, I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps, as well as build custom software solutions for companies. With over uh, 10 years as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. All right, the AI industry has been selling us a fairy tale about secure, trustworthy system, but the reality is a data security nightmare. From models that leak voter registration information to enterprise AI that fails basic confidentiality tests, we're looking at the biggest data privacy disaster since Facebook. So let's dive into why your data is not safe in these AI systems. Now, Chatterbox Lab CEO Danny Coleman revealed that enterprise adoption is only like 10% today, despite McKinsey claiming AI is a $4 trillion market. And the reason is really simple. Companies don't trust AI with their sensitive data, and I don't blame them. Coleman warns that people in the enterprise, uh, they're not quite ready for technology without it being governed and secured. And traditional cybersecurity teams have, uh, haven't caught up to AI's unique attack services. And we've just recently saw this with Echo Leak with Microsoft's GitHub Copilot. Now, CTO Stuart Battersby emphasizes that content safety filters, guardrails are not good enough and warns against trusting the rhetoric of either the model vendor or the guardrail vendor because everyone will let you uh, tell you it's super safe and secure. Now the gap between AI promises and enterprise reality is huge. And while consumer adoption explodes, Corporations are stuck in AI pilot hell because they can't get past the security implications. So when I've implemented AI in other companies, I've had a, a really difficult time getting them to make sure that company data was not being put in. So this 10% adoption rate tells you everything. Enterprises aren't avoiding AI because it doesn't work. That's a whole different discussion. They're avoiding it because they can't trust it with real business data. Now, Salesforce research showed that LLM agents achieved only a, roughly about 40 to 50% success rate on single step tasks and performance dropped to 35% when tasks required multiple steps, even more concerning in their handling of confidential information. The study found that agents demonstrate low confidentiality scores, which while imp improvable through targeted prompting, often negatively impact task performance. And this essentially makes AI more secure, uh, makes AI uh, more secure, makes it less useful. So meaning if you make it more secure, it gets less useful, right? So these aren't obscure edge cases. This is the basic business function failing when confidentiality matters, which means that AI systems fundamentally don't understand the concept of sensitive information. The research team argued that existing benchmarks largely ignored an assessment of their ability to recognize sensitive information and adhere to appropriate data handling protocols. Now, the finding reveals a significant gap between current LLM capabilities and the multifaceted demands of real-world enterprise scenarios, where data privacy is non-negotiable. This explains why so many AI projects get stuck in pilot phase. They work great in demos with fake data, but fall apart when real confidential information enters the picture. Now, in 2023, and I get that a lot has changed since then, but a study of 1.6 million workers found that that almost 5% of employees had pasted confidential data into ChatGPT and 11% of data employees pasted into ChatGPT was confidential. Now, I'm guessing that number's actually gone up since 2023 because every conversation I have with people says that they're pumping uh, information into these large enterprise uh, systems. And, and that's the problem. A lot of people are using either free or small paid versions, not the expensive enterprise versions, and yet pumping tons of company data into them. So the, this study that I'm referencing showed that the average company leaked sensitive data to ChatGPT hundreds of times each week, including internal data, source code, and client data without any oversight or awareness from IT departments. Now, 
According to the same study, it's common for users to inadvertently insert personal information while trying to get the LLM to give more context for a question. So I know a lot of salespeople who will pump in tons of customer records trying to get it to specialize uh, the prompt for this particular customer. So this isn't malicious behavior. It's well-meaning employees who are trying to get better results from AI tools by providing more context, not realize that they're sending proprietary or even PII data into this external system. So I know when I've worked with clients before and we've tried to implement strict redaction policies because of our first, like within the first couple of weeks of usage, the logs showed engineering's were copying tons of network configs and other things into the system. So this is part of the problem that we run into when we've worked with other clients trying to implement these systems. The scariest part about this data is that it doesn't just disappear. It potentially gets incorporated into models, uh, into their training through reinforced learning, meaning your confidential information could end up in future models responses. Now, Google's C4 data set, which is used to train major LLMs from uh, including Meta's Llama models, quote, contains voter registration information from states of Colorado and Florida, according to the Washington Post. OWASP Foundation reported in October 2023, so this was a while ago, sensitive information disclosure is one of the top 10 most common vulnerabilities in LLM applications. Now, the vulnerability uh, can occur when an LLM inadvertently re reveals sensitive information due to improper data sanitization, lack of robust input validation, or over-filtering during the training process. And that's the end of that quote. Real-world examples include models trained on customer support transcripts that might inadvertently learn and reproduce sensitive information such as credit card numbers or personal addresses in its response. This means your personal information might already be baked into AI models that you use every day without your knowledge or consent, and there's no way to remove it. I know one time I was using one of the popular models. I'm not going to say which one, but I'm using one of the popular models. And I put a bunch of sensitive information about myself and I caught myself after I'd actually already sent it to it. And I mean, this wasn't like PII type of information. It was actually a little more personal than that. And a lot of people are using these major chatbots as uh, like a therapist. And when they're doing that, what they may not understand is they're pumping in a ton of information about themselves, which can get baked into the model. And also they're finding ways that the, through phishing attacks that some of this data can get taken back out. Now, if your company has systems that you either need to help get connected or you need to lock down, check us out because here at Startup Hack, our specialty is connecting systems to help your company work like a well-oiled machine. So check out startuphack.com slash Spencer. Now, system prompt linkage, quote, ranks among the top 10 LLM security risks recognized by the Open Worldwide Applications uh, Security Protocol, which is OWASP, right? And this occurs when attackers craft prompts to, manip to manipulate systems into exposing sensitive data. These attacks can target sensitive information uh, attackers and can exploit such as system architecture, user tokens, database credentials, or API keys. Now, unlike traditional security vulnerabilities that require technical skills to exploit, prompt injection attacks can be executed by anyone who can type creative instructions into a chat interface. Attacks can also reveal user permissions and roles, which reveals information attackers can then use for privilege escalation, escalation attacks that open doors to deeper system compromise. So the anthropic research uh, I reco recovered that I covered previously showed that AI models were easily duped by fake phishing emails claiming to be from competitor companies, demonstrating that they lack basic skepticism about suspicious requests. So if you have agents hooked up to your systems, it's pretty easy to get them to spit out vulnerable information. This creates a perfect storm where AI systems are both vulnerable to social engineering attacks and have access to vast amounts of sensitive corporate data. Now, I'm curious to hear what you guys think because I really enjoy when I get you to hear you guys' comments. So make sure you leave a comment down below and make sure you like and subscribe. Now, model data leakage occurs when your model returns output, which exposes sensitive data used as training input. So essentially, this is turning your proprietary information into freely available responses. This vulnerability can compromise any type of data you enter into your LLM training data, including personal identifier information identifiable information or PII data, biometric data, financial information, and healthcare data. The problem is that models can memorize specific details from training data through overfitting, then regurgitate this exact information when prompted by users who have no authorization to see it. So unlike traditional database breaches where attackers need system access, model data leakage can be triggered by anyone with normal user access who knows how to craft the right type of prompts. 
Test data leakage compounds this problem by exposing information about the database used to validate model performance, giving attackers insight into your data sources and testing methodologies. This means that any sensitive data you, that you use to improve AI performance becomes a potential leak vector, creating a fundamental tension between model accuracy and data security. Now, a company by the name of Centra warns about overly permissive configurations where LLMs can be configured to allow users to provide inputs that may contain sensitive information without adequate filtering or standardization. OWASP, again, this is something that you're using if you're trying to do SOC compliance or HIPAA. OWASP is one of the main security uh, protocols that you use. And OWASP ten, top 10 for LLM application identifies LM, LLM 08, which is excessive agency, as a critical risk where models may perform actions beyond their intended scope or generate outputs that cause harm. A recent example of this is the echo leak that hit Microsoft uh, GitHub, this uh, copilot that could be hitting a lot of other systems right now, but they aren't telling us that. And that's part of my concern here. Many AI implementations give models broad access to corporate systems and data repositories without limiting access, and that reduces their effectiveness, right? Because if you limit their access, it's going to reduce their effectiveness. So a lot of people are doing the opposite and giving them way more access, which then becomes a security nightmare. This can manifest as supply chain compromise and excessive permissions to AI powered apps that can erode trust, damage reputations, and even lead to a legal or regulatory repercussion. The fundamental architecture of many AI systems requires extensive data access to function properly, making it nearly impossible to implement proper least privilege access controls. So I know what OWASP continues to talk about more and OWASP has a ton of different vulnerabilities that list out. So if you go and check out the, o, the OWASP LLM, uh, if you're digging into security, this is something you definitely need to become versed in. Now, there, and because there's a lot of different things that you can get into with this, right? So a lot of the security concerns, uh, security uh, practices out there are warning that content safety filters, guardrails are not enough. So people are saying, hey, this is the content that we're putting on the guardrails, but it's really easy to manipulate the LLMs to spit out more and go past those. The key problem is that even authorized users of an AI system can make it do damaging things, meaning traditional access controls might miss the biggest threats. So most organizations apply conventional security, uh, cybersecurity frameworks to AI systems without understanding that AI introduces an entirely new attack surface that existing tools weren't designed to handle. That complexity requires comprehensive approach, including data hygiene, policy enforcement, access controls, and continuous monitoring. So in my experiences, companies often assume their existing security infrastructure will protect AI implementations, but AI systems break down traditional security assumptions about how data can flow. Organizations need, need real-time monitoring tools to identify suspicious activity, but current systems weren't designed to detect AI-specific attack patterns like prompt injection or model manipulation. Proper protection requires monitoring and near real-time alerting to suspicious, identi uh, to, specific, to suspicious identities and such as those activities, right? This includes data exfiltration to thwart attacks or malicious behavior early. These are some quotes from some of the OWASP security manuals. Now, traditional security monitoring focuses on network traffic and file access, but AI threats often manifest as unusual prompt patterns or subtle changes in modern behavior that slip under the radar. One of the things that cybersecurity professionals need to be doing in their corporate environments is making sure that they are routinely checking the logs of what's going into and out of AI systems through your system. And if you don't have logs around these and you're not blocking off certain ones, then I can almost guarantee you that sensitive data is getting leaked out of your cor corporate uh, structure. So this means that if you're not, if you're going to use Gemini 2.5 Pro and you're allowing that, then you need to be able to have logs set up for it and be blocking ChatGPT and Claude and all the others. This is what becomes critical, right? Many AI security breaches only become apparent after sensitive information was already exposed. And if you don't think data is getting exposed, you're not watching. The urgency is very clear for any CISO and any cybersecurity experts and any IT uh, experts out there. The challenge is that AI holds immense potential to transform our world, but it develops its development and deployment 
must be accompanied by a steadfast commitment to data integrity and privacy. Organizations must recognize that LMs can leak data through various vulnerable points and attack vectors, and this includes their own employees. The fundamental problem is that current AI architectures prioritize functionality over security. Retrofitting security into systems designed for maximum data consumption is like trying to add privacy to Facebook. The business model conflicts with the goal. So success requires implementing data protection best practices and comprehensive approach to data security and privacy specifically designed for AI rather than adapted from traditional policies. As AI capabilities expand and more businesses depend on these systems for critical operations, the potential impact of data breaches will grow exponentially while our ability to prevent them is going to continue to lag behind. Now, what do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I'd love to have a great discussion. Here at Startup Hack, we'd love to train software developers in our coding boot camps, as well as to build custom software solutions for companies. So reach out because we'd love to help. We can help your company work to maximum efficiency by connecting your systems in a safe and secure way. So check out startuphack.com slash Spencer, and here's some great information about some of our services. Hi, my name is Spencer Thomason, and I'm a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and a solid 25 years in software development, I've mastered mastered the art of transforming technology teams and products. So what is a fractional CTO? This is where you can contract someone like myself to come into your organization and get the benefits of a seasoned CTO without having to employ me full time. In today's fast paced world, efficiency, security, and product scaling aren't just goals, they're necessities. My passion is building impactful products and enhancing organizational efficiencies through technology. From startups to small businesses, my approach leverages lean methodologies to not just meet but exceed your strategic goals. Whether it's through executive mentoring, cloud system architecture, or launching a minimum viable product swiftly, my aim is to make a significant impact right from the start. Recognized in the Arizona startup ecosystem, my journey has been about creating value and fostering innovation. I have led technology for companies like GoDaddy, SRP, and Wells Fargo, and turned challenges into milestones. I've taken this learning and launched seven of my own brands, and now I want to help you. So if you're looking for a fractional CTO who brings a wealth of experience, strategic vision, and a proven track record, let's connect. Together we can build technology that not only drives your business forward, but also makes a difference. Technology leadership redefined to fit your needs. So reach out today.